Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to present our paper, Dr. Emotion, Disentangled Representation Learning for Emotion Analysis on Social Media to Improve Community Resilience in the COVID-19 era and beyond. My name is Mingxuan Ju, and I'm going to be today's presenter. So this, pr this presentation is structured into five folds from introduction to summary of our work. The COVID-19 crisis has become a paradigm shifting phenomenon affecting hundreds of millions of people in the US directly or indirectly. It has led to escalating societal, economic, and behavior issues with significant consequences evidenced by first, dramatic rise in unemployment rate. The number of unemployed persons in the US were up to 12.6 million in the, in, the, in the September of 2020. Second, significant economic downturn Due to the closure of many businesses, the real GDP decreased at an annual rate of 31.4%, and profits from current production decreased almost 200 billion in the second quarter of 2020. Moreover, a variety of crises induced has been induced by the pandemic. The anxiety, social isolation, unemployment stretch, uh, grief, and general uncertainty have created a variety of crises including an impact on the volume and distribution of crime, increasing substance abuse and suicides. From these two figures, we can tell that a great percentage of people experience some degree of stress and anxiety during the pandemic. The irregular usage of prescription drugs and illicit drugs for non-medical reasons also surges. Moreover, a great proportion of people confront behavioral health issues and corresponding healthcare spending within the US is also climbing due to the pandemic. Social media platforms such as Twitter have played important roles by enabling people to discuss their experience and feelings. During the pandemic, the number of COVID-19 related tweets increases exponentially. During March, 53% of the tweets sent by members of Congress are COVID-19 related. And from the outbreak of COVID-19, its discussion on Twitter explodes with over millions of, of tweets per day on average. According to our dedicated experiments, we conclude that for tweets with uh, anticipation emotion, many of these are related with uh, phrase, helpful and useful information. In this paper, we propose to perform automatic emotion analysis on social media posts to first assist, assist with insights of people, of what people are suffering and what helps they need. And second, to identify experience, ideas, and supports from the ones who are, success, who are successfully navigating stress. For example, as shown in this figure, a Twitter user ex ex expressed her fear due to unemployment issue, while another user offered constructive su su suggestions with joy to help address this challenge. As initial efforts based on social media data, we focus on automatic emotion analysis that seeks to extract fine-grained emotion rather than coarse-grained polar sentiments to provide insight into public feelings from where additional work can be conducted to extract and transform the constructive ideas, experience, and support into actionable information to improve community resilience in responses to a, to a variety of crises created by COVID-19 and well beyond. So to automate the emotion analysis on social media, there have been numerous research studies to perform emotion analysis for the insight of public feelings related to COVID-19, as shown in this figure, we observe that users may implicitly express their emotions in social media posts, which are highly entangled with other descriptive information. More specifically, compared with other three posts, the emotion is more implicitly encoded across post two. This poses a new challenge for pre-trained transformer-based models since they are trained for general purposes and hence they are task agnostic. So two major problems that are needed to be addressed are here. First, how to derive useful and helpful information to improve community resilience in responses to devastating societal, economic and the behavioral effects caused by the pandemic. And secondly, how to derive disentangled representations in the latent space such that we could separate the emotions from the content in the social media post for emotion analysis. This figure demonstrates our system's uh, architecture of our proposed Dr. Emotion. 
Recently, this entangled representation learning has shown its, its success in either computer vision or natural language pr processing. Different from these works, we aim to disentangle the encoded emotion from the content in the social media posts. To achieve this goal in this paper, we proposed and, and developed an integrated framework called Dr. Emotion to learn disentangled representations of social media posts for emotion analysis and thus to gain insights into public feelings of COVID-19. In Dr. Emotion, for each given social media post, we first obtain its post embedding by post training a transformer based model, for example, Roberta. And secondly, to learn disentangled representation of given posts for emotion analysis, we then propose to indicate emotion independent priors generated by another post trained transformer based model. And then to devise a adversarial disentangler to separate and disentangle the embedded emotion from the content in the latent space. We propose the adversarial disentangler. The, dis the learned disentangled representation will then be fed into a deep neural, deep neural network with, with a multi-layer perceptron to train the, classi uh, to tra to train the classifier for emotion analysis. Uh, for post-embedding generation, we fine tune a transformer based model with eight class emotion label. We attach a MLP to the end of the CLS token of the transformer model. We then back propagate in an end to end manner with the following cross entropy loss plus L2 regularization. Uh, to generate prior condition, we fine tune a transformer based model with binary sentiment label. Similarly to the previous one, we also attach a MLP to the end of CLS token. We then backpropagate with a with the same objective function. The uh, prior condition can be extracted using the following equation. On the uh, on the lower right of this slide, we we are giving two examples demonstrating the different domain priors for different posts with different uh, level of, of expression. So the so adversarial disentangler is composed of two parts: a generator G and a discriminator D. G can be decoupled into an encoder and a decoder. The encoder aims to learn a content-free emotion embedding H from entangled post embedding X, while the decoder aims to generate X bar, which is a similar post embedding given the prior condition C, emotion embedding H, and a Gaussian noise Z. D is a multi-task MLP. It takes a post embedding. The post embedding could, could either be artificial from our generator or real from our data. And this MLP predicts first the genuality, second prior condition, and third the emotion label. So why does this work, and why do we take this design? Since neural networks prone to learn shortcuts during the backpropagation, and the information is compressed during the encoding phase, some some information must be dropped. But what information should be dropped? Since we manually inject prior condition in the middle of the encoder and the decoder, encoder will know that prior condition could be reimbursed after. So it can be so it can forget information that is correlated with domain prior. Our loss design also ensures this point, and our loss are on the bottom of, of this slice. The training process of Dr. Emotion is demonstrated in this in this algorithm. So first, we sample we train the uh, discriminator by a half batch by a half batch of real inputs and another half batch of related synthetic inputs. Then we freeze the parameter. We freeze the parameter on the discriminator, and we train the generator by generate a batch of synthetic inputs. The after epochs of training, we return the encoder in the generator. For our experiment, we have collected over uh, 142,000 tweets in total from March 1st to September 30th, 2020. A group of six annotators manually labeled 35,000 of them and into eight emotion categories. And after eliminating uh, contradictions, we get, we get roughly around 28,000 labeled tweets. This table demonstrates the class, the class distribution of our data set. And this data set is also available on our GitHub uh, attached in our paper. For the evaluation, since this data set is kind of imbalanced, so we propose to use micro and macro F1 and the AUC score. So uh, as for the evaluation of Dr. Emotion, Dr. 
Daughter emotion could be could improve performance of all state of the art language models by a great margin. Simply work as a plug and play module, and the legitimacy of proposed prior condition could effectively disentangle peripheral information from original post embedding, as shown in this table. Then we further plot the distribution of embeddings before and after the disentanglement using TSNE. It is very obvious that from this figure, we can see that the decision boundary after disentanglement is more distinguishable for all emotions and hence provides better performance for downstream classifiers. We also compare uh, daughter emotion with several baseline methods. From the, for the baselines, disentangle based methods outperform all traditional techniques. So other priors perform better than other disentangle methods. And our proposed, proposed daughter emotion consistently outperforms all baseline for emotion analysis in every metric. And this forecast simply demonstrates the stability of our model and the training time, uh, the training time per epoch as the a size of training sample increases. Uh, this graph demo, uh, we also conducted a COVID analysis using daughter emotion from a, from a, from a temporal dimension. So, uh, uh, we can see that uh, overall, the prolonged pandemic has caused dominant fear and volatile emotions in combination with anticip anticipation and trust. Since the lockdown orders initiated in March, the feeling of fear and anger combining anticipation and trust have been dominated uh, till June. The reason behind this could be perceived by the most discussed topics such as pandemic heart, getting infected, so on and so forth, which indicate that unseen pandemic not only physically endangers people, but also financially jeopardizes their daily life due to the lockdown and unemployment caused by COVID-19. And from June to September, fear mixed with anticipation and trust have been dominant feelings, while anger decreases as people have been adapting themselves to the new normal life and gaining more knowledge on the COVID-19. In summary, the dynamics between fear and anger mixed with anticipation and trust indicate that while people might have worried less about the pandemic itself, effects brought by the COVID-19 such as a substantial confirmed case, fatalities, unemployment, and quarantine fatigue drove the volatile emotions. Nevertheless, from July, the feeling of the trust has skyrocketed from, in, from intensely discussed topics such as making money, wear masks, so on and so forth. It is noticed that our community has been trying to re migrate to new normal life while fighting against the pandemic. We also conduct COVID analysis using daughter emotion from a, geographic, uh, a, a geographical dimension. But due to the time purposes, I'm not going into detail of this analysis. And if you are interested, you can look into our paper. So the contribution of our, of our work could be summarized into three points. First. We propose a novel adversarial disentangler for emotion analysis on social media posts. Then we, pro we perform comprehensive experiments for model evaluation. Then we propose a learning paradigm and extensive uh, investigation based on the classified emotions. Still, if you are interested in further details, please check out our paper. Thank you. And if there's any questions you have, you can, con you can either contact me or my advisor in front here. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.